welcome to Fomez Productions. This is a friendly uh, a game around at Patriots Park with Nathan Dittmer, Alex Johnson, and Stephen Zang. Absolutely. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited as well. This is old round, but you know, it's, uh, it's one of our favorites. Yeah, the old Patriots course, which we now don't have, so good R. memories. Really good memories. R.I.P. to Alex, right? <laughs> yes. If you're listening to this, Alex, you need to move to Augusta. That's what you need to do. Come back to us. You can keep playing with us. Mm. Now look at Tiny Daniel. So young. So spry. But so up and coming. Look at this card. I mean, it's like a dream card. It is a dream card, and, and these scores are fantastic. I'm, I'm really shocked. I can't wait to see how this front nine holds for us. Okay, hole one, par three, 303 feet. Really just have a, a simple tunnel shot. So forehand is a popular play, or just a straight backhand. You kind of get in your head. You can just see the basket right mm -hmm. there. It's like you want it. Mm -hmm. but it's a pretty tough shot because it's narrow, so far away. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a rip. It flanges out. a lot of hyzer, too much skip. Yeah, yeah skipped a lot. Looked like the wind took it too. Mm -hmm. Look with Alex, so that's forehand, hot. and the muscle teeth. <laughs> My two favorite good. things. Uh, it looks like it's going to just land at the mouth. It's just good get. That'd be good. It'd be like a 60-footer. Mm -hmm. I like it so much, I thought I'd try it out. Nice. Skip. Oh. I think you got the skip. You're looking. That this is probably a destroyer. Probably long gone. No. Alex with the jump putt. Oh, oh Alex looks really it. good. Oh, wow. Mm. Well, we're not going to talk about whether it was a foot fault or not. I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he still has that putter from three years ago. Let's see if I like that putt. Uh, good luck. Good I look good, too. It's kind of sad, you know? Yeah. I was too like, scared to go far. I don't think we have any of these discs anymore, <laughs> which is really sad. Oh, uh, yeah. He got a good layup right there. Yeah. A little, just, uh, a little half run. Smart play. Alex giving a smile to the camera. Alex mm. a smile for the camera and Kansas Paul Captain. We added our own commentary you gotta, you gotta during the round. Oh, that's why I had that mini still. Ooh, yeah. playing with the minis. Beautiful. It's Nailed a pro it. round. All pars? All pars. All right. Looks like it's all pars. Going for the uh, the glasses look. Hole two, par three, 364 feet. It's a narrow tunnel to begin the shot. It's, and then it opens up super wide, so you can skip right or left, but you really want to keep it straight to go Straight, a little downhill, uh, you know, and land right by the basket to give you a look mm -hmm. for your birdie. This is a tough hole. This is. is a, a rare birdie. Mm -hmm. I mean, those trees are probably, what, 150, 200 off the tee? Yeah. The grunt, so scientifically it's, proven to help. It's, it's tough to kind of either flex something out there. You, you see really a lot of bail out to the left like you did. Mm, common one. Now it's Alex, going, I'm pretty sure it's a hand player, going with the backhand. Pretty sure it's a Valkyrie. And Valkyrie, he's no. looking to fight up a lot of distance. That's a good distance for this hole. But... Oh, and he pulls it uh, all the way uh, right. That's uh, not what you want. Uh, very typical of Alex, though. So. <laughs> you see that a lot. What do you got here? I think it's a destroyer. Pretty sure that thing's long gone. Probably. And, you know, I just wanted to uh, join you where you were at. Yeah. Open. It's definitely a, not as far. But it's not out. a. It's not better there. No, it's. it's Alex open. is in a bad spot. Yeah. Oh, and he tries a roller out. Oh, and it scoots right out on the edge. That's a good. See it. That's a good out. That'll be good right there. Alex is gonna. Alex is gonna flick for an approach. Try to get it close. You know, salvage a bogey. Oh, and he leaves mm. it well short. That's, that's, a, that's gonna be a test. That is definitely. I think I'm a. Uh, Throw my star stud here. Lost that disc RIP a long time mm. ago. Oh, no, he's going with his putter. He's going for a little layup there. Shot. That was oh, good. That's a really good layup. You know, I, I needed that close. Ooh, just a nice, easy. You know, you're all right. You're featuring a lot of again. talent you got here. You got the the big hyzer and then the touch up shot. Mm. Putting yourself at two feet. Mm. Still a tester for me. Uh, I don't know if I can get this one. <laughs> oh man, barely sneaks in. But you're in for par. I'm in for par. Alex will tap in his bogey. I think he takes a double bogey. Actually, this is uh, he misses bogey attempt, so he's now at oh, did two he? over. Oh no. All right. Oh god. 
hole three, par three, 296 feet. It's a really tough shot because you have the tunnel. It's really just a hyzer play, but you really have to navigate through those trees. And, and if you hit the tunnel, you're gonna get a birdie putt, but if you're off the fairway at all, man, that is an easy bogey. It's rough, it's rough. Oh, uh, Nathan, you hit. I'm inside. Looks a little inside, but looks like it's I still in the tell. fairway. That's good. If you're off to the left or right, mm. it's it's rough. Alex is really growing on his backhand game. Oh, let's see if really Alex can correct his backhand so in the last hole. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does he more does over. <laughs> yeah. He does not. Well, I'm proud of him for sticking with his swing. Yeah. He committed. Mm -hmm. Now he knows just what to adjust. Yeah. It looks like I released Steven it early. Steven was terrified of going Ooh. right. Yeah, it's that psychological ma uh, match, you know. One one person goes oh, no. early. Oh, and Alex just. That is the problem if you're off the, off the fairway at all. It is rough it's tough to get out. Trees. Oh, no. He tries to pitch out again. That's <laughs> going to be his. That was his par <laughs> shot. That'll be for He's bogey. back in the trees. I think I, I see a line. I'm going to go for I it. I mean. And I had to miss that tree oh. right there. So it looks like. Ooh, I remember that Excal. I love that disc. I don't have it anymore. <sighs> this is sad. So many lost these. Go for a roller. I wanted to go try. left. <laughs> looks like it's just going straight, straight into the into woods. Straight into the woods. And that was Man. my first shot. And you were just, you just got a jump putt to, to save approach. the group. <sighs> Gorgeous. All right. Gorgeous. That's a good layup. I mean, that you talk about no putt 2020. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. That's. You knew it back in 2017. Mm. Back now, before Alex it was cool. Gets out. Alex gets out. He's he's nice and sitting pretty for a, a putt at double bogey. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And that was for bogey. Oh no! Still in the woods. I'm gonna stay with you. These are holes that just destroy your. How are you feeling right now? Dignity. My dignity's left uh, uh, I when I went early into the woods. I give that a bit. If I made that, you know, felt probably would probably feel pretty good, but mm. missed it. Along with my dignity. <laughs> And this is for triple bogey. Oh, man. Triple bogey to start. Mm, that'll hurt. But you're taking a par. I mean, even Hopefully. The first three <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, How do you feel? I feel okay. I mean, par is a good score in this hole. I mean, it's... Like, you guys just took Adam some Johnson big numbers. Because it's, it's really hard to get back on the fairway once you're off. Yeah, it's tough. Now we move to hole four. The first par five, and I think the only par five at mm -hmm. Patriots, 780 feet. You come out with a, a right turning hole, and then you just go straight all the way. I mean, the fairway's kind of tight. You can't flex anything really big, or like skip. You want to just go straight. I mean, it's it's really full shots to get all the way down there. 780 feet is is no lie, especially three years ago with us. It looks like you're going with the forehand. Yeah, just something to to make the gap. Give myself a look. And it looks great. Yeah. Middle of the fairway, right, probably 280, 320. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's good. I mean, you're making up almost half the hole right there. Mm -hmm. Alex goes with the same thing with the destroyer. And oh, that's like he, a great shot. Looks like he gets a lot more distance. Probably not. <laughs> we know Alex. <laughs> and I'm just, I just want to go back in. Gosh, you're an animal. Backhand turnover. Backhand turnover, you know. Ooh. Into... Oh, you're on the edge. It's, it sits on the edge, which is good. This is, a, this is a fine look. As long as you get a straight shot, but the trick is you have to leave it out right. If not, you just go straight into the woods mm -hmm. again, to the left. Let's see if Alex can correct with a forehand. His valk is pretty flippy. Oh, no. <laughs> Alex is really leaning on that valk, but I don't know why. You should probably throw that valk <laughs> away. Gosh. And you've seen us, too, go straight early into the woods. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I need to throw this thing dead straight, and it wasn't bad. It was just way too high. Yeah, and it, and it finds the woods again. I mean, that's the tough part. Way you got to keep high. it low yeah. and straight. Looks like we look at Alex first. Little pitch up, and he's back in the oh woods. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All, right. All right. This should be his fourth shot. So he pitches out. Roller alert. And I ha that he has that look for par. And I'm I'm in the woods too, trying to get a pitch out. Looks like it doesn't get out. Looks like it's just on the edge as well. And it's my fourth shot here for birdie. Oh no. And it catches some foliage and mm. goes about 20 feet. <laughs> I'm 
trying to just ease just got to get the confidence back and this is like a great shot it's it felt it felt shot. good it felt good to get something that straight yeah. finally and not to get back into those woods should be she would have tapped that in alex is trying to do the same thing and he flips it great Ooh. it looks like it's a bit oh that looks great it's far let's go long on it nathan's here for his eagle and this shot this shot's your uh, fourth shot man third shot this should be your third nah, shot yeah that was my third shot and just just hit those trees it would have been fine if it didn't hit those but you have this for birdie birdie you going for this absolutely and oh just yeah, short just you know short. it's a good half go at it you don't want to end up too far alex is probably 20 feet this is a test of range for him good oh putt. and flops it right good in putt. there so do you all right take it in there oh it's good to clean that up you know <clears> going <throat> two over again <sighs> that's okay all right, hole five, par three, 213. Pretty simple, just dead straight. Putter, mid-range, whatever you need to hit this really small gap. I mean, not that far away, 50 feet for those trees, but you don't want to do that. And that, that's a common mistake. It's just to want a highs or something through there and let it flip up, but not committing. No commitment. Yeah, that the gap of those trees really isn't that big. Ooh, and now, he stuck with the Valk. I'm proud of you. So proud. And this time he didn't release it late. He released it early. I'm going with my Star Stud. Love to throw that thing straight. Oh, man. Oh, I got flipped on and you. And that wind just took it. We got a headwind, I guess. I guess so. It looks like you guys are putting Very long putt back and bounds for par. Yeah. Just missing. The thing is, it's pretty easy to save your par on this. But. Yeah, you go out. You're probably going to go out far anyways. And shank. Mm, I mean, that was... Pretty, has a lot of pressure on that putt. Yeah. To come back to par. This is for birdie. Let's see if I can make some magic happen. You know, just a smart layup. Mm. Uh, it looks like we're going to tap out two bogeys and a par. Yep. Yeah. If Alex will tap it out. <laughs> he, he's I'm, thinking about this one. I'm glad he's taking his time on this one. <laughs> <laughs> it scares me when he does this because sometimes he misses. <laughs> He, that's not guaranteed for him. Absolutely, it's not. <laughs> not even now. All right, it's hole six, par four, 457 feet. You got a dog leg right. Looks like it's gonna go tunnel shot, probably 250 to the to the turn, and then uh, a straight 400 foot shot, uh, 200 foot shot yeah. down the tunnel. Um, it's, it's a it's tough It's pretty hole. easy if you got a forehand, but if you don't have a forehand, it's gonna it's gonna be tough for you. It's tight oh, off the yeah. off the tee. It looks like you yeah, have just yeah. pierced it. it. Only caught half the throw. Solid forehand. I would. Yeah, I'd be. I wouldn't be surprised if Alex went with the Valkyrie, but it looks like he's going with the Destroyer. Smart man. When that goes that really straight. That is great. A little too far. Yeah, it. it you don't want to go. Might too have came straight. back in the fairway. Steven Zay. I'm going with my Excal here. I love <laughs> throwing forehand on this disc. Man, that doesn't stop Steven. You though. need to get another X gal. <laughs> Dude, you ripped that thing. And it, it came back in the fairway, I think. Yeah. Alex ended up in the fairway. He went with the Valk, and he paid the price again. <laughs> I see a pattern. <laughs> I want to tell Alex from the past now, <laughs> don't use your Valkyrie again. I'm pretty sure he's looking for a Valk as well. <laughs> he's, got, he's got look. He's got look. And I, I threw it, and I, I went to a little bit to the right side. I'm fine with that. It's a par four. I'll just take my par. And you went all the oh way Oh my gosh. That you was the worst shank I've ever block. seen. Yep. And I think <clears> that just got in your head. Yeah, I did. You you, uh, you were in perfect position, and that AVR just did not no. want to go anywhere but right. And Good now kick. it's a great kick. A tree gnome actually takes it and throws <laughs> it back into the fairway. That's really what you need on this hole is a helpful tree gnome. I didn't get one. Steven, no big nope. thing. No big and it looks there. like you said, bump the AVR. I'm just going to approach it to my ape. <laughs> yeah. You really mean. This is the moment I decided that's my approach disc oh from now on. Oh! And just, just short, you know, it's a good layup. Uh, I'll take my par and move on. And Alex looks like he's going for his par. But see if you can make it. Oh, and just just off the left side. Mm. That's my bogey putt. It'll be all right. All right. We'll recover. Back to back bogeys. Beautiful. Is that your par? Or birdie? Really? That was my par. All right, good par. You know, I was just playing the hole like I should. 
Not taking, not chewing off more than I can bite and, and chew. All right, hole seven, par three, 256. Just a dead straight shot. Um, a couple trees in the way, got to navigate through them. But if you can get something to just kind of skip up there, great. Forehand's popular to play, or just a, a backhand mid-range. And you go with an eight. Yeah, you know, I, I said no more AVRs for me. I'm only throwing apes. Mm. And you say, any of us sponsor me. Am I right? <laughs> and Alex finds the smallest gap on the fairway <laughs> and does not get away with it. Still convinced there's no gap there. But I think this insane. is a TI buzz that I don't have anymore because of that. <laughs> After that, he threw it away. I did not want it. Oh. I'm not sure what this white disc is, and I'm throwing right here with a flick. It's like some sort of... Driver. I think I'm trying to flex something out there. You know, I got, I, mm. I kicked off to the right. I mean, I mean, I was pretty, I was pretty short uh, off the tee, and not, not too unhappy with that. Got up there. Mm. Alex, Making Alex gets up there with his like AVR, and you're the only one with a birdie look. I look with an eight. Forty feet. <laughs> and obviously, you're thinking make right. I have to two bogeys back to back. I mean, no chance. Like yeah, your your putt now is not. It was it was prim, uh, primarily a hyzer putt. Yeah. But now you find it out. Mm hmm It's like you get more distance with it. Mm -hmm. Oof. And I navigate through trees. Yeah, there's a turtle. I kind of thought you weren't coming. What turtle? <laughs> and there's a turtle. <laughs> I thought it was Scott. <laughs> Scott hates us now. I'll never hang out with this again. He doesn't want to be our friends. This is for my bogey. Let's see if I can just save it and move on to the next yeah, hole. There you right. go. Good putt. Recover. And you're picking up the only par on this hole. Mm. That, it's, it hurts when you go off early in the tee. Mm -hmm. so. All right, number eight, number eight, we're narrowing down the back nine here. Par three, 251. I mean, this front nine is, is coming to an end. And you got a couple trees to navigate. It's simply just a, a hyzer. Backhand mid range, uh, and you should kind of get lucky through these trees. I, I mm -hmm. just kind of spray and pray, um, but you want to throw something a little high to let it coast down. It looks like he's going with his Valkyrie, and he's corrected his release. Hmm. Looks a lot better, but it went early. <laughs> I'm amazed, Alex's persistence with his Valkyrie. <laughs> amazed. That's a good gap hit. A little early. A little early. Too a little too much high. I think he'll still forward, have a actually. look. I think you're uh, going with your eight. I really hope I didn't use an eight. Oh my gosh. It almost missed. Almost worked. You powered through it. Okay, here we go. Ape up shot. Innova, let me know when you want to sponsor. I mean, you it, get enough it action works. on the ground. It works, you know. You know what the disc is going to do. Exactly. And Alex goes with a destroyer up shot just to get enough roll. I think roll it worked too. To have a look for his par save. And. This is my first birdie look. And not, not my first birdie look. My Yeah, my first birdie yeah, look. Yeah, I think so. And you're thinking make. I want it. Gosh. And I just leave it all the way mm. left. It was sad. I actually think I threw an AVR X3 or a rat, a star rat, oh, when I had it. Rat. When I had it. That's gone now. That's a pretty long putt for me. Gosh. Absolute shank. Yeah, and that AVR, just, it really isn't <clears> working for you. It's That's, not. I need to get rid of it. That's why you got rid of it. Alex, Alex is coming back for, I believe, his double bogey. No, that was that was his bogey. This is his double <clears throat> bogey. Because he putted past, and now he's coming back, and you put in your... That's my bogey. Your bogey shot. And this is for par. Mm. I mean, I, I paid the consequence kind of, of going far, and Dang. didn't put enough on it, and just take my bogey. Move on. That's tough. All right, hole nine. This is a fun one because really it's kind of opens you up to just an unadulterated hyzer where you can just let the thing rip, let it go down the hill, and then you can kind of just navigate the fairway from there because you can kind of go any option. You can go common second shot is <clears throat> forehand hyzer, but really it just depends where your big drive goes. And the front landing zone is right before that bridge. Uh, and then take your second shot over and I'm going with the hyzer trying to ease it, it up there and just let it drop straight down and, and mash uh, I think it went out turned out well 
Oh <laughs> no, Alex! I can't he, believe I it. You know what? He's not out of the birdie chance. Not just look. yet. It looks like you're going probably with a destroy uh, with an eight. I did it. And you just the one mistake you can't do. What I'm interested to see I had to do course fun. maintenance for us. Looks like you're gonna still go with the standstill hyzer, and you Ooh. ripped it. And you. Are trying to down the fairway get somewhere. All the way down there. Yeah, Alex is trying to make up for his shot and throws a hyzer straight into the left side of the woods. <laughs> but I think he gets a good kick and this will wind your hop. That was a good drive. I'm just trying to pitch a a forehand uh. up there across the bridge and just save my par. This is a tough par to get clean. Looks like you ended up in a pretty good spot. Yeah, not bad. Let's see what I... Here's your third shot. Trying to get you in the basket. I'm up there. I don't know how close it is. Yeah. Alex is trying to save his par. And he gets up there. I'm just trying to forehand uh, my fish putter. Oh, get up. And I am happy with the par. That's good. You can take big numbers from this hole if Absolutely. you don't stay on the fairway. There you go. Alex lays it up for his... All right. Nathan, get my par Nathan, yeah. cool guy, Nathan. <laughs> I only need one hand to putt. I only need one hand to putt. It looks like Alex cleans up, and I'll clean up my par. And looks like we didn't film a, a back nine, but we'll have to get back to you guys. And on that's that. it for the front nine. Stay tuned with us for the back nine some other week. Mm.